What's up, Bogetas? Welcome back to Milimani. And on this channel, we discuss matters personal finance. So if you're interested in taking complete control of your finances, it's time to smash that subscribe button and turn on the bell. Wow, 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 wow. Today I'm very excited. Uh, last week we did the masterclass. Everyone who came out on Saturday, it was such a blast. I had an amazing audience. Hey, Manzi, I really enjoyed teaching that class, yeah? I, I, I truly enjoyed it, teaching that class. It was dope. Thank you so much for everyone who came. Now, when you have a kuja, Pia, I saw you were very, very aggressive in watching the video. Last week's video did very well. So thank you very much for that. All right, now today, today's lesson is very, very simple, yeah? After taking the weight of the masterclass, today we're going to just teach something very, very simple, and that is the seven levels of financial freedom, yeah? So how do you get to financial freedom? There are seven levels, and most people just know financial independence then financial freedom, but there are actually seven levels. Level number one is called clarity. And of course, everything to na discuss leo, ikonajina, financial, hakumbele. So financial clarity. What does this mean? This means you know exactly where you are when it comes to your income, to your expenses, when it comes to your debt, and you know where you're going. So as far as your financial journey is concerned, you have clarity. Yeah. So you know where you are, everything about your finances at the moment you know it, and you also know where you want to go. So that is step number one, or that is phase or level number one, financial clarity. Number two, it is what we call self-sufficiency, financial self-sufficiency. What does this mean? This means that finally now you are out of your parents' house, you are living by yourself, uh, you are able to cover your bills. Yeah, so yes, not after after, but you are able to fully cover your bills and you depend on yourself. There is no one else that you're depending on. That is why it's called self-sufficiency. All right. Fantastic. Level number three is called the breathing room. Now, the breathing room is a level of financial uh, of financial freedom that is really ignored. And this is the reason. Breathing room is always a, a huge chunk. Before you get to the next one, between breathing room and number four, there's usually a good period of time. Yeah. So what is the breathing room? The breathing room is the level at which, first of all, of course, you have an income. Number two, you do have savings and you're no longer living paycheck to paycheck. So when you think about your finances, you are at a place where you do have some savings with you, you're not living paycheck to paycheck. Hi Fiki at Teacher 29 and you you are going crazy. If your, if, your, if your payroll person does not come through in the next few hours, things are gonna get crazy, yeah? You don't have supper, you don't have fare back home, etc. You know how to have an office in a fair one way. How do you want to when you have a his stage, your breathing room, how they, how they gather. So the breathing room uh, level is where you have some savings and you're no longer living paycheck to paycheck. And between breathing room and number four, usually it takes time. Now, what is number four? Number four, I'm looking for a partner who is financially stable. Yes, so financial stability is level number four. What does this level mean? This level means, first of all, you don't have bad debt. Yeah, so all the debt that you have, see, see, see that's lifestyle debt. You know, lifestyle debt, oh, lichuwa mshwari, you went a debt mahali, ukachukua tala, because you couldn't miss to go to the costo in this weather, so you're like, ah, imi lazima nende costo. Yeah, so you don't have those kind of debts. You don't have bad debts. That is sign number one that you are in the financial stability place. So the other thing <coughs> within level number four of financial stability is that you have six months worth of savings when it comes to your expenses. Basically, ukonaka emergency fund can you can cover for six months in your current expenses, by the way. It's not that your emergency fund, the way it works is maintaining the same lifestyle. Yeah, when it comes to expenses, of course not savings, not charmers, not other things. Given your living expenses every month, come as nakwanga thirty thousand as an example. Yeah, so your rent, your shopping, your hair, your nails, I don't know, fuel or transport. Basically, because then you na kuanga nazo recurring monthly bills, 30 Gs. In 30 Gs, then for you to be at financial stability, you multiply that by six, and you have with you 180,000 as an emergency fund. All right. So that is the other sign of level number four: stability. Stability. How na bad debt? No kona six months worth of uh, worth of expenses. All right. Ah, uh, level number five is financial flexibility. Now this is a bit. This is this is a this is a one that people don't really think about the financial flexibility. What does this mean? And we see this a lot with the Western world. Yeah, so in Europe and in America, we see this pretty pretty often. And flexibility means you can afford to take a year off. 
you can actually afford to take a year off. What does that what does that mean? That usually means that you have about two years, two years worth of expenses. Yeah, so size you can mahali where life it needs you to take a break yeah because sometimes you you stretch yourself so much you stretch your body so much you stretch your mind so much and you're in a dangerous place now if you have financial flexibility you can decide okay this job is very very toxic i don't have to go to work today uh, you can decide that this space yeah this business is really taking a toll on my body you can decide okay let me take a break let me hire someone let me withdraw from work for up to a year now, if you can do that, you are in that place which is called financial flexibility, all right? So this one can be achieved if you have two years worth of expenses or if you have um, just some, some two money here and there, including all of your two investments, if they can cover you for two years, then we're in a flexibility. All right, let's move on to the very, very famous level number six. Level number six is financial independence. Now, usually what does independence mean? Financial independence means that your in investments, all of your investments, can truly cover all of your expenses. So essentially, you don't have to work. Yeah, the investments that you make are so far up to this point in life, given your current uh, lifestyle and inflation, <laughs> because <laughs> given your current lifestyle and inflation, it means you no longer have to work. If you decide now you're just going to be easy and just chill, hang out in your house, hang out with your kids, hang out with your friends, that is called financial independence if you're still able to cover all of your expenses. All right? That is for life, financial independence. Last but not least, financial abundance or what we call financial freedom. Now, here is where money is no longer an element. You know, like you know, Whatever the case, you can you can still live comfortably. You can still help other people live comfortably. There is some generational wealth. You won't live if you have children. You won't leave them hanging. So this is this is that level where now other things become important. You know, money stops becoming important. You're now looking after power, for instance. You're looking after influence. You're looking to make a change. Yeah. So financial freedom is really the epitome of it all. When you when you get there. You begin realizing there is more to things other than yourself and your needs. When you're at clarity, man, the biggest the biggest concern you have is yourself. When you're at clarity, yeah. When you're at self sufficiency, you're like, guy, rent here next month is a talkawapi. I actually have to go out there. But when by the time you are at financial freedom, it is about humanity, yeah. The things that concern you are things that are beyond your individual self and your immediate family or your extended family, because all those things are completely and very well catered for. So those are the seven levels where you get to financial freedom. So let me let me ask you, well, Kowapi, yeah, for this whole chain of seven levels to get into financial freedom, where at thou? I do hope you have learned something. I do hope you have now known the path that you need to take. And every now and then, you know, when you're having that financial date with yourself at the end of the year or on your birthday, you know, at least you need to have a financial date with yourself once a year. So whenever you're doing that, you need to evaluate. Am I moving closer to the next step? All right. I do hope you have enjoyed this video. I'm going to be catching you guys next week. And until then, kick ass. Like a guy you could treat me right